Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Welcome to another, in fact, welcome to the last 2023 Project Orchids video. This is video number five for Orchid number eight. So th this is the end of the project, basically. Um, this video starts off a bit different. Um, <coughs> I'll leave you to see that. Um, but. Um, yeah, uh, we ended up with two plants instead of one, um, starting off with the rather strange repot and um, then moving through the year and ending up with video number five with the uh, two plants as they are now. And um, yeah, I won't say anything else, let's just, uh, let's just do it.
So if we have a look at the copper, cymbidium copper, this came from the Mathers Foundation, um, and this was out of um, David Mathers' private collection rather than the Foundation orchids. Um, and the new growth is pushing on really well. I would imagine there's a good root system coming underneath it. Um, it's a healthy looking plant, nice green leaves, currently outside, brought in now just to film and it will go back outside. Well, I'm about to water all the cymbidiums and feed them. So uh, it'll go back so outside for that so that it can drip on the floor out there and not in here. Um, yes, so that's that one. Um, it's coming on nicely with three back bulbs that are reasonably, you know, plump and leaved. No, no um, unleaved bulbs. This new growth may well produce a flower spike, but it's relatively late in the season to be at that size. So we might miss a year and not get any blooms. This was the other plant in, in the pot, and this is basically an unnamed hybrid. It's, it was a creamy color, if you remember. Um, now we've ended up with one back bulb here and a nice strong new growth. Um, Next year the growth may bloom, this one won't. Quite honestly, if this tried to bloom, I think I'd probably take the spike off and get, get the strength into the plant. You know, it's obviously been disturbed. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the state of play with the two cymbidiums. Both have got a single new growth pushing on nicely. Um, and that's all you can say about these really. They're in their growing season, they're outside getting fresh air around them, getting rained on. Well, if we had any rain, they would get rained on. At the moment, they're getting the hose put on every now and again. But that's been happening frequently because we haven't had rain. Consequently, they've only had water for a while and no feed. So I'm about to give them a good feed. And what I plan on doing is I have some <coughs> slow release fertilizer granules that I use for my bonsai trees. Now I don't think it's a complete feed by any means and it's a low feed, it's a 555 so it's balanced as such um, and these could do with a high amount of nitrogen for this amount of growth that's going on. So I'm going to use that so that when I put the hose on them they get some feed and when it rains they get some feed but I will still mix up orchid fertilizer, you know, with a kick of nitrogen in it to keep these growing strongly through the season. So two months ago, this is the hybrid. Um, so this is unnamed, I've got no name for this, and I did try. Um, basically, it's a cream colored cymbidium. It has attractive flowers and, you know, we'll, we'll go from there basically. But um, the new growth on here has pushed on a lot and we do have roots coming out from the base I did have a look I'm not scraping it all away now so basically that's two months worth of growth on on this new growth here and it's now forming its bulb so it is maturing um, a two bulb plant I'm not sure whether if that did decide to bloom I'm not sure I would let it I'd rather get the strength into the plant and wait for another bulb so that it's a three bulb plant um, that would be fine to bloom. Two is pushing your luck a bit, it will drain the strength of the plant. So, but that's undecided and it hasn't pushed a spike up yet anyway, so <laughs> that's wishful thinking perhaps. Right, so over here, this is the one we actually bought, which is Cymbidium Copper. And when we looked at this last time, we had a nice strong new growth pushing on. Well, that's pushed on, carried on pushing on, and is doing very well. But what we've got now is round the back of the plant, we've got two more new growths. There's one tucked in there, and one here a bit further advanced. Now that's coming out of um, what is probably the oldest bulb, although it might not be. Um, these two bulbs could be the oldest bulbs, but this one does look like quite an old one and it's pushing out two growths. So on top of the one that's maturing and forming its bulb, we now have two new ones. Uh, at a strange time of year, I must say. <laughs> it's not normal to get new growths pushing out. You know, this is a winter early spring bloomer, the Cymbidium copper. Um, you know, so 
it's highly likely this one will form a spike. You never know, we might get two, but I doubt it. It'll probably just be one because of the disturbance of the repot. You disturb the roots, you know. So uh, anyway, that's how they're progressing. Um, new growth maturing on this one, on the hybrid. New growth maturing on this one and two new growths. So it'll be interesting to see how well these two growths progress through the rest of the next two months and whether this one over the towards the end of the next two months decides to push a spike out. So that's where we are with those two. Okay so orchid number eight is in fact two orchids and the story behind that exists in the previous videos um, but basically a, a single orchid was bought, turned out to be two different ones so they were potted up separately as part of the set of orchids, uh, set of videos for um, orchid number eight, which now needs an S in there somewhere. So anyway, last time we looked at these, this is the, um, <laughs> the usurper, the, the one that I didn't actually buy, I ended up with as a consequence of two different orchids going in the same pot. And last time we looked at this, we had a new growth pushing on nicely and had yet to form its bulb. Well, it's certainly done that. It's produced a nice plump bulb Chances are that will carry on swelling and get a bit bigger, but what we have now is a nice spike. So this one is going to bloom. I did debate in the last video that if it tried to bloom, would I let it? Well, given two big strong bulbs, the plant thinks it's strong enough to bloom, so we'll let it go ahead. So that's that one. Now the Cymbidium copper was doing a similar thing in as much as the new bulb, which is covered in oak leaves. They, well, everything in the garden is covered in oak leaves. That's the nature of having a huge oak tree in next door's garden that I can't do anything about. Anyway, the new growth that was pushing on last time has matured nicely, got a nice big plump bulb. And in addition to that, we had two other new growths that were starting late in the season. Well, this one's pushing on okay. Hopefully it will carry on growing and the other one's tucked away in here, which again is, is growing. They've progressed a reasonable amount, but it's not a huge amount given that's two months worth of growth. But nonetheless, that these two growths are both on the oldest part of the plant. They are in fact on the oldest bulb, both of them. They're on this little old bulb here. And what I think's happened is the plant has disregarded this bulb. So this bulb has sort of become a back bulb in as much as it's propagating and it's produced two new growths as back bulbs are inclined to do quite well on cymbidiums. They, they do that very well in fact. But on this current year's growth, the main one, we do have a spike. And that's probably the only spike we're gonna get this time round. But next time round, hopefully these two new growths will have matured, yeah? And, oh, I mean next time round, I mean next year. <laughs> Sorry, mouth won't work. Next year, these two growths should have matured and produced bulbs that will then produce new growths. This one should produce at least one new growth. So this is gonna be quite a big plant into next year with its new growths from the size of the plant it will be come springtime. So that's where we are. They're both gonna bloom. You've got an acorn in this pot. <laughs> yeah, so we've got spikes on both of them. They will both bloom. And I have a decision as to when these come back indoors. Not yet. And now, if you take tonight, for example, the, you know, the weather forecast says, oh, and it's going to be a chilly, chillier night than, you know, the last few days, we, we may well get down into single figures. That's not a problem. The problem is when we start getting into lower single figures and there is a possibility of a frost threatened. Now, these two are protected to a degree because they're on the bottom shelf of my bonsai staging. Um, you know, the, the, the latest growths have matured and produced their spike. 
<laughs> that's the end of the requirement for environmental factors to deal with these to get them to bloom. They're already doing it, so that's already been done. That's worked fine, so to speak. So uh, there is a decision when the cymbidiums are going to come in and the nights are not cold enough yet, but they could be very soon and it can happen in a day. So if you've got cymbidiums outside with no protection, nothing over them in any shape or form, watch those weather forecasts, watch those night temperatures in whatever location you're in, if there is a possibility of getting a frost as we move into October, it becomes far more likely. Yeah, it only needs a northerly direction airflow coming down from Iceland and all that stuff up there where all the ice and snow are. We get a norther northerly air airflow and a still night that has no cloud cover, whatever heat was there during the day will just be gone. And that's when those temperatures drop like a stone. So take care. That is the most important thing with outside cymbidiums at this point in the season. Watching out for those night temperatures to drop. Down to six or seven degrees is probably okay. But any lower than that, mine are coming in. Okay, a last look at our um, <clears throat> pair of cymbidiums, the story of why there's two orchids as orchid number eight as is back in the other videos, I'm not doing it again. Um, right, so this orchid was a bulb with a new growth. I've said several times in the videos as the years progressed that this plant wouldn't be strong enough to bloom, however at the end of the year, I'm changing my mind, the original bulb and the new growth. And the new growth is big, plump, good set of leaves and is strong. There's a good set of roots going down in there as well. And the spike has progressed up to the point where it's got buds. Now this bud's at a funny angle because it got trapped in here. I've just freed it. It was trapped in the sheath. You can see where I've split the sheath to actually let the bud out. That will straighten itself up. That won't be a problem. So that's the cream colored one with no ID. That's just a hybrid. And um, I'm gonna let it bloom on the grounds that the plant thinks it's strong enough. We'll let it go. Um, it's not got a huge number of buds on it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, probably six, maybe seven. Um, so that's not a giant spike, it won't drain the plant. So I'm very happy with that, to have taken a single bulb with a new growth to a strong looking plant with a good spike. I think I can safely say that I'm not doing bad with cymbidiums. If that was the only one I had, I'd be well pleased. However, let's have a look at the other one. Now this is cymbidium copper, and this one was doing strange things because the growth that started the year as the new growth, is that a snail? No, just a bit of grit. Jolly good. Has plumped up really well and is now the largest bulb on the plant. So that has grown incredibly well, really good. And it produced a spike, which is, which is looking good. That's gonna be a good spike. There's a lot of buds on there. And then it also produced another two new growths here and here tucked in there. Now those have not developed fully and I don't think they will because they're growing off what will become the back bulb once the leaves drop. Um, it's the oldest part of the plant. Two new growths. However, that gives two leads to the plant that hopefully will both produce a new growth next year which will grow to full size and they may well bloom. So potentially down the line there could be two spikes on the growths that come from those two. That remains to be seen. Now when we looked at this bulb last time we, the spike was underway. Well it's progressing really good but guess what? Spike number two. So there are going to be two spikes on this one and given the separation between how far advanced that one is and the fact that that one's just starting, if there is an overlap, 
that's going to be in bloom a very long time. Cymbidium spikes and blooms do tend to last a long time anyway. So again, well pleased with the progress of that one. Yet again, I think it's uh, reasonably safe to say now that I think I grow cymbidiums reasonably well. It was an unknown quantity. We had a look at all the rest of the cymbidiums back in the Sunday chat. So if you want to see the rest of the set, um, you can go back and have a look at the Sunday chat where we looked at all of the cymbidiums except these two because I knew I was going to look at those today on Friday. So there we go. The last video of the 2023 Project Orchids. All over and done now. So there we go, <clears throat> the last one of the uh, Project Orchid videos. I think I will sum up the whole project, you know, as a subject uh, in the Sunday chat as part of that, plus an outline um, for what I think will be the um, continuing project, which in effect has already started. But that's my ideas anyway, and we'll, we'll sum those up on Sunday as part of the Sunday chat, as it's a chatty thing to do. And um, thanks for all those who have supported the Project Orchid videos. I know they're not for everybody, and I know there's quite a few people who don't watch them. Um, but at the end of the day, I think a lot of people, that, that out of those that do watch them, have enjoyed the project this year. So, um, yeah, we end on a good note with two orchids that have done really well. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.